Hi everyone, this is Gel Arts, and I'm back with another video for you. And this time I thought I'd do a sketchbook tour. And this is a moleskin sketchbook, it's the white one, and I got this back in April. Um, I filled it up to about here. It's about a third or a quarter of the way through, and I just thought I'd show you what I've done so far in this book. So, that's just my name. So the first one I did was this drawing. I think I based it off of a photo. I'll show you more of it. There's just that. And then there's this one as well. It's kind of similar. I was working on doing headshots and just different facial features, I guess, trying to develop a style for that. This is a sketch of my dog when she was on the couch. I didn't really shade it much, so it kind of looks a bit odd. <laughs> and as you can see on this side of the page, I haven't really started to draw on both sides of the page yet, but eventually I do, because it just saves a lot of paper. But also the drawing comes off on this side because it smudges a little bit in here. The pages are pretty thin as well, but I wanted to try Copics with it. I mostly use warm grays and a cool gray here, just different cats. And it bleeds through quite a lot, but as long as you protect the page here, it should be okay. And here I was trying to learn how to do profile views. I think I looked at a tutorial, but I can't remember which tutorial that was, but just the guidelines, I just needed a bit of a refresher for that. This is a flower, I don't know why I did that there. <laughs> These are some cat designs. I actually have this one in my Redbubble shop. Um, it's like a colored one on the computer, digital version of it. And I meant to do this, but I haven't done that yet. Maybe I will at one point. These aren't Copic markers. These are a different kind of marker this one and I also have the skin color well not really skin color like a peachy color there's other skin colors than just this one um, these are just the two I got I won them in a contest on pagey world a while ago so I haven't really used them much because I don't have any more of that kind of marker this was for a school project looks kind of weird but then I refined it here and I have a final version of it on bigger piece of paper but I did the rough sketch here and then I would scan it, enlarge it, and then trace it onto better paper. These were design ideas for my Redbubble store. This one became a design. It's on my Redbubble store. Maybe I'll put the links to them in the description if I decide to. It's like pink and blue kind of theme. This is another kind of style thing I did and I wrote make hands bigger right there because I think the hands need to be bigger and the proportions are a little bit weird like this arm's too long and stuff like that. But I like the way I shaded the hair, but I did a little too much detailing on the face, in my opinion. These are design ideas, again, I have a lot of those in here, based on the four seasons. Not this one, this one's weird, I just randomly doodled that the other day. This one is on my shop, but it's not my favorite thing in the world. This is a sketch for a school project as well. Um, it was just like high school art, not college yet. I'll probably be going to college for art next year, university or college. But yeah, there's a larger version of this one too. These are some thumbnails and just some random sketches. These also have final pictures. This one was just a sketch of some pots of flowers um, on my lawn. I'm just skipping a bunch of pages here because they're not really that full. <laughs> These are more thumbnails, more thumbnails. This one is not a larger drawing, but it almost was, but then I changed the idea. These are all for like school projects. Just some animal studies, used photo reference for all of them. Obviously, otherwise would not look too good. A little cat. And these are planning designs for um, my Redbubble store. I ended up making them in Adobe Illustrator for a school project. So I have a whole series of these in the next few pages. I'll link them. I'll link my Redbubble store. It's always linked in my description, so if you want to look at them, you can. Here's. I ended up going with this one, not this one. I didn't like how I did the trees there. The ocean. And I never did this one, but I'm planning to. I've been working on it a little bit over the last few weeks. I want to make this into a design because I like the way I made everything. I like the 3D aspect of it. And yet it's flat at the same time. It's kind of simple. So this was a really super rough 
thumbnail and then this became a final painting as well for school again there's a lot of school things in here like i already said style practice i've been working on my style a lot the last few months um, it seems to look different every time but i'm starting to sort of gravitate towards certain aspects of facial features and things like that this was a sketch of my sister but like a cartoony sketch that doesn't really look like her just like the main characteristics of her that's what I tried to do more design ideas simple ones I wanted to do a sunglasses one I'll do that eventually this was a design but I took it down because I didn't really like the way it turned out but I might redo it because it's not really that complicated it's not very original either I'm sure it's been done a lot just dandelions not that innovative this was a design idea as well haven't done it yet though just a quick doodle just I don't know <laughs> these are thumbnails as well it's kind of hard to see the blue but might become drawings one day I was inspired by a uh, Bailey J when she did that mushroom drawing so I wanted to draw mushrooms yes more design ideas this one's kind of weird but I wanted to do a feather one so I just practiced drawing feathers and this is gonna be a drawing soon I'm planning on it um, making it a digital one Kind of relating to some other ones that I've done, but I guess you'll see that later once I actually start it. I'll probably start it in about a week. These are pen drawings. This one was without sketching beforehand, and this one was with sketching beforehand. So I sketched this one first, but this one I just did all with a pen. I think the face looks kind of squished up on that one, but I haven't put it in the mirror to see what it looks like the other way around, so it might be really off and I just can't tell. This was just Something that turned out to be a bit of a different style than usual. But yeah, just trying to design an outfit because I used to love doing that. This became a watercolor drawing. Also in my red bubble. <laughs> and yeah, that's it so far. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm so far liking the way Moleskin is for um, sketching. I like how many pages you can fit in this in this small notebook. And I also love the fact that it's like hardcover and it won't um, get destroyed going in and out of your backpack which is great for students so I think I'll probably use similar notebooks to this in the future because it's hardcover and it seems like good quality so I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching